Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you, Marielos? I am so tired <laughs> because of the, the rest of yesterday. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Yesterday you rest, you, you didn't yes. work, right? Yes. I and you work today? Yes, I work all the day. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, but you still have energy for the class for today? Yes, I yes. think so. <laughs> yes, yes, I think so. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. Did you have Did any? You... Yes, go ahead. Ah, I don't know because I I feel all the uh, the preparation topics. <laughs> I feel my block my mind. I don't know why. I, okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult to make express express and listen and writing. I I don't know why. Yes, it's kind of difficult, right? Because it, it, it takes a while for you to practice. You just need to practice like reading, listening. Uh, these are just some tips, right? Some advice that you can have, but it takes time. I understand. I don't know if you have any question about this essay, the uh, question number one about the, the deforestation. Uh I, I was uh, confused about that because um, when you told us to uh, write the essay, I, I, I wrote it like an article, no uh, comparing the ideas. Um, but I, um, on Tuesday, I understand, I understood you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, actually, yes, um, the, the first question is just about that, right? That you need to write what you understand about yes. the listening and the reading, right? Okay, so this was yes. like the, the example that I was showing you. I didn't know if you, uh, did you write uh, like an essay or something like that? Or you're going to show it tomorrow because tomorrow is the last class, right? Yes. So did yes, you practice a little bit of your writing? No, only a little. Only a little bit. <laughs> yes, a little bit. But um, and the the question number two is is our opinion about we work we are going to write about. Oh, no, are going to write. We have to write. But, we have but I to. Couldn't. I only write two lines. <laughs> only, <Yes. the> <laughs> only the beginning. Only the beginning. Yeah. Yes, you can start practicing a little bit more uh, by writing some paragraphs, right? Small paragraphs. I will uh, tomorrow. I will send you more information or more topics for you to practice with the writing and speaking, right? That these are kind of the most difficult because you have to create the language. But this is like an example that is the perfect example, right? This is like um, you don't have to do exactly the same, right? You just can see the example and then you can try to create like something similar right um i'm uh, probably they are they are not going to request something like this right but try to write something clear and with clear ideas and they will be able to read it and uh with a uh, few mistakes right not not to create like, like that much mistakes but this was just an example yes i realized that i need to write uh, too much in Spanish or in English. Yes, <laughs> I I don't use write uh, and in, in Spanish. No, it's, it's difficult to me in Spanish and <laughs> in English it's hard. <laughs> yes, it's difficult, right? It's like it's not like a very formal writing, but it has to be clear, right? Like what you understand and your ideas, and it has to be clear. Okay. Okay. Very good, lady. Good lady. afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening for Maria Losen, you teacher. Good evening, lady. Um, uh, how are you? Do you have any question about the, the, the essay or the platform? Um, out? Well, I already sent you what I wrote, mm -hmm. the essay, the try that I did. Mm -hmm. And maybe about the platform when we are doing some um, or answering some questions, they are um, labeled wrong, and mm -hmm. not, it doesn't matter if we try to to make like a, a new answer all the time. It's mm -hmm. like answering wrong. It's wrong all the time. What happened with that? 
it's possible to to yes. make like a correction or it's only once once that we can when can try to answer yes we will try to check right now uh you just let me know what is the part that you have problems with like what section or what question and we can try right now to to answer it right or to see what the problem is okay uh, see see Han, see told you uh, several days ago uh, mm -hmm. he provided some some answers yes uh, the, the the platform doesn't accept any answer mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah Yes, Maybe we are going to check right now. Platform. Yeah, we are going to check right now. Is in the first test? Is no. in the first test? No, in no, the, no. In the in final. The final. In the final. In the final, really? I don't remember that. Okay, excuse me. Okay, let's see. Okay, that is this is the writing section. And what is the answer that you have problems with, lady? Um, the ones that we have to complete. Can you advance? I don't know. Okay, let me see. I don't have in mind right now, but what's one option that I... Okay, we're see. going to check right now the final exam because actually tomorrow is the, the last day. Finally, right, we are going to finish with tough of practice, but uh, we can check it right now. It, actually, this is the, the last exam, the final exam. Good evening, Sirhan. Good evening, Juan Jose. We are about to begin. We are just checking the, the platform. So it says here, review speaking and writing sections, instructions. Mm -hmm. This final exam reviews the last two sections of this TOEFL course. This review will help you have a clear idea of all the information. What does fluency refer to? Okay, let's see. Let's going to answer this really quickly. Okay, fluency, it can be speaking with accuracy and natural speed, or it refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed. I provided that information in one of the platforms, I guess that in speaking. Yes. Uh, also here, ability to convey ideas is um, the speaking, speaking section, right? What does the speaking section measure? Ability to convey ideas, or it measures the ability to convey ideas. Uh, to select right that number three is the second one number four is the second one these ones are the the only ones to complete it says mention the response features which will help you get a better score so the response can be clear and fluid speech good pronunciation natural pace and good intonation this is just for speaking right mm -hmm. number six what will you be evaluated on delivery, language use, and topic development. This is uh, the information that is in the platform, right, in the presentation, in the videos. Mention to task, which will help you write your essay. Write an outline and choose words. And number eight is supporting the reading. And number nine is challenge the reading. Protest, query are example of key phrases to challenge the reading. And the last one, mention the academic subjects. The lecture of reading may be about life science, social science, physical science, and humanities. This is about the question number two. And this question, we are going to talk about this question um, tonight, right, in this class. So this will be the, supposedly, this will be the, the answers for these questions. Are kind of complicated, but this, this should be the, the questions, right, the, the answers, sorry. So if you have any problem, if you write these answers and if you have any problem and still uh, incorrect, let me know. And probably it's a problem with the platform if mm -hmm. you do that, right? Okay. So if okay. you if you have it correct, it's okay. I guess that you shouldn't okay. have any problem. Yes. I, I only have a problem in the uh, section two. In section the two. First, in the first test and listening practice test. Okay, in the midterm exam, right? No, no. In the section yes. two, before, listening. before, yes, yes. Um, listening practice test. Listening number practice. three, number three, the platform doesn't accept any, any, any answer. answer. Yeah. 
Let's see. Okay, I'm going Number to three. write it here. I guess I wrote it, but it's number three. Let's see. And you tried and nothing happened, right? Yes, is is uh, the correct is number four. Number three. There are these. Okay, correct. number three. Section listening practice. Yes. Okay. Listening practice. Yes, because in that way you won't have any problem. Um, because tomorrow is the last day, so I don't want you to, to have these problems. Number three. Letter D is the correct answer, but it, it doesn't set any answer. <laughs> okay. So letter D is the correct one, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, I will report that tomorrow in the morning or probably today, right? After the class. So listen in practice one, number three, and this is practice test section two, right? Section two. Yes. Okay, perfect. So if you have any problem also with the final exam, let me know, okay? I will report mm -hmm. this. Thank okay, you, thank you for coming, Juan Jose, Katy Maritza, Myra. Thank you for being here. I think Milton is not going to continue with the classes, right? Unfortunately, but um, we will try to finish because yeah, uh, tomorrow is the last one, okay? So this was the essay that I was requesting on Monday and Tuesday, right? Yesterday, we didn't have any class. So tomorrow we will finish it. And this was an example, right? Uh, this is just an example for you to take an idea of it. You don't have to copy the same. You don't have to be the same because it will be the same. Another uh, question, another reading, another lecture, right? So this is just an example. And I know that it won't be easy to write like this because this is like very complicated language and to create, but try to practice, try to use different vocabulary, try to expand your vocabulary and try to commit uh, not as much mistakes with, or not as many mistakes uh, in grammar, right? So we are going to finish with number one, right? Task number one. The task number one was about deforestation. The uh, reading was um, agreed, like, uh, they were in agreement with deforestation. They were saying that it was good. Deforestation was good for different countries, for economic development. And the listening, the lecture was not uh, in agreement, right? It was saying the opposite, that deforestation is not good. So you had to contrast different things, right? Uh, here in this passage, as you, as you can see, and the yellow one is the reading and the blue one is the listening, right? So if you remember that, uh, you can contrast these ideas, right? The listening and the reading, the reading, the listening, the reading, the listening. So you can start writing in that way your paragraphs. And we are going to check some of your paragraphs too also. So that's what we are going to do. Remember that this is a template. Templates are good. I will explain that today. And try to edit, right? Try to edit your, your essay. If you practice, uh, try to write without any corrector or any program that provides you any, any answer, right? So what we're going to do right now is just to check some of your essays. And on Friday, we will do the same. Uh, tomorrow you can, or today you can write yours uh, the, for question number two, about exercise and that kind of activity. Try to write your essay and try to send it tomorrow or try to send it on Friday, right? Yeah, on Friday, tomorrow is Friday, right? So try to send it tomorrow so we will check it. Okay, I will share some of the examples. So for you, you can see some of them. We are going to see here. This one is uh, for Maritza. Maritza wrote this one. Let's see. So this is the essay for Maritza, right? As you can see, Word is giving me some 
probably some errors that she had, but let's go into really just like that, right? It says, deforestation is the action of cutting down trees. Is not new for us to hear this word in these days. Therefore, there are different opinions about this topic. In one hand, some people agree with this action due to the dozen of benefits that brings to society. In the other hand, some others are against this because of the many consequences for the environment seen as a result of this practice. The article mentioned the people have cutting down the trees to satisfy the necessity to provide food. Wood that can be used for many things like build homes and buildings. However, the listening says that even cutting down trees is a necessity. It has to be made with responsibility not only to make a lot of money because it can damage the environment. Finally, the deforestation caused the displace of many animals. In addition, only few people get benefits from this practice. So it is okay because the introduction is good. Uh, she was able to contrast both ideas. It was okay. But in this case, um, only here, a double space, right? Probably this won't take you many, many points, but for example, in this one, it have, right? It have, no, right? It has, It right? has. It yes. has. Finally, um, do you know about connectors? Have you studied connectors in your previous courses, in your previous classes? Connectors or this kind of words like finally, furthermore, nevertheless, mm -hmm. also, However. in addition, yes? Yes. Okay. So you need to know that, for example, when you start a paragraph, for example, or, or a sentence with one connector, you need to place a comma, right? Finally, comma, and then you write the um, the rest of the sentence. In this one, causes, right? Causes. But this is just this is just war, right? War is telling me that is incorrect. You can check it later. And we have over there an option that is Grammarly. Grammarly can be a kind of confusing, but it can be really good, right? Uh, it, to provide some suggestions, but it, it can be kind of kind of difficult to to understand it because it it provides a lot of information and suggestions, but the suggestions are not very clear sometimes. Like it, it just tells you this is incorrect or this is not very good. So let's see here. Okay, I will use Grammarly.com. That is uh, information that we have also in the presentation. And I will share the screen right now. Just for you to check the S's, right? So in this case, this one, deforestation is the action of cutting down trees. Is, is, no, right? It is, right? It is. It is not news for us to hear that this word in these days. So in these days, I think it's okay in these days. Let's see probably on these days, right? On these days, it seems the proposition may be corrected here. Yeah, I guess in these days is uh, this word in these days is okay. Therefore, there are therefore right comma right. A key semicolon right. Sorry. This is a semicolon, this is a colon. Therefore, there are different opinions about this topic. In one hand, some people agree with this action due to the dozens in, of benefits that bring to the society. It seems that there is an article usage problems here. It brings to society. In this case, we don't use the society. So just society in general, right? To society. In, on, in the other hand, now on the other hand, right? 
On the other hand, some others against this because comma, uh -huh, this one is a comma. In the other hand, comma, some others are against this because of the many consequences of the environment seen as a result of this practice. The article mention, mentions, right? Mentions the people have cutting down, have cut, exactly. Have cutting, not right, have cut. Han cortado, verdad? Han been cutting, probably. Like build homes, uh, build homes, building homes, right? Building homes. However, the listening, the listening, yeah, the lecture, the listening, you can say the listening, the lecture, that's okay. Even says that even cutting down trees, even cutting, yeah, this one is correct. Down trees is a necessity. It has to be made with responsibility, not only to make a lot of money because can damage environment because it can damage, right? It can damage environment. Money. Make a lot of money. Is a person necessary coming because uh-huh. Comma is not necessary here, according to this one. Finally, the deforestation. The deforestation, no, right? Causes the displace, displacement of many animals. In addition, comma, only a few people get the benefit. Only a few, right? Few people get benefits. Get benefits from this. Benefits is okay. Okay, what is the problem here? What do you think is the problem? The deforestation, for example, the people, um, the people, it's okay, but um, in Spanish, we say la gente, right? La deforestación, right? But in English, no. We have to think in English, right? So the deforestation, no. Deforestation in general. When we say the deforestation, we are talking about something specifically. No estamos hablando de algo en general, sino que de algo en específico. So be careful with articles. Con los artículos tengan cuidado. They're right. In this case, uh, and also I I think that we need to know how to how to use commas. We don't we don't learn that in English classes, like how to use commas and how to use columns or periods right or semicolons we don't they don't teach us that right because that is composition right composition so it's kind of difficult for us so try to yes try to use commas and everything but in here as you can see there in the first paragraph here it's one period and then comma here i corrected this comma 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 and this one this one is one sentence all of this is one sentence okay so try to separate more yes you can use commas but not try not to do like long sentences just comma 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 like try to use short sentences and create a paragraph with that because all of this is one sentence you see so it's really long actually and here also however comma Comma, comma, comma. This is one. This one is kind of okay. Yes, this one is currently. Finally, comma, comma. In addition, in addition here, it will be better if we uh, place a period, right? In addition. So if we use a connector, we need to write a, a period, right? Normally, or a colon, right? Semicolon. So that would be a recommendation. Uh, let's see, we're going to check another one. Let's see, I have other two here. Thank you for uh, sharing your articles or your essays. That was really good, actually. Let me see, I'm going to erase this one. And I'm going to share another one. Okay, this one, right? This one is from Sergio. 
Very good, Sergio. Actually, it was a really good um, essay. As you can see, he wrote like three paragraphs. And uh, in the TOEFL test, they will ask you a little bit more, right? A little bit more words, like 300 words. But um, it's okay for the practice, it was okay. As you can see, it says, the writer says that the many, for many years, trees have provided the necessary materials to build homes. So it's talking about the writer here. And the last one, it says, however, about this idea, the speaker doesn't agree with the author because he believes deforestation put in risk the existence of these unique ecosystems, despite the short-term benefits uh, that clearing forest could offer. And here you keep doing like uh, contrast, uh, you're, you're contrasting the ideas, right? The author suggests deforestation, very good. In conclusion, wood cutting business produce good benefits only for a small group of business owners, not for workers, neither people in general. In contrast, the cost of deforestation is enormous for the human being and wildlife in the long term. So, in, just like this, if I read this essay, it was really good, actually. Congratulations. But if I check it here in Grammarly.com, that it checks the grammar, right? Let's see how was your grammar for this essay. Let's see. So we can see here the some of the mistakes, right? Spelling, right? Useful only with one L, right? Addic additionally, additionally is with T, right? Additionally, comma, the author, author, right? Technologies, technologies, right? Forests, clearing forests. Easier, right? Easier into uh turn them into into is together right into under uh the idea that deforestation brings right brings because in simple present right for lives people comma right bring ma many benefits for lives people for for lives people what is the meaning of for lives people sergio Para la vida de las personas. Okay, people's life, right? People's life. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. We are practicing. We are practicing. You don't have to, oh my God. No, you don't have to say that. Right? It's okay, but however, comma, this is another connector, right? However, comma, let's see here. And people's lives, right? Here in plural people's lives, las vidas de las personas, uh -huh. many benefits to people's lives, you see, so this is really useful, actually, uh, because he believes, believes is missing one E, right, believes, unique ecosystem in short term, short term is hyphenated, short term benefits, very good, so we have to increase our vocabulary and we need to put at, we need to uh, check the spelling mistakes in this, in this case, a lot of spelling mistakes. Put at risk, put on risk, no, right? Put at risk. Abundance, an abundance, to obtain an abundance, it's better. Let's see. Enough, enough doesn't has a T, sin T. Food production, poor, for, right, for the increased population. What do you mean by respect to this affirmation? What does it mean that? But respect to this affirmation, comma, what does it mean that? ¿Qué significa eso? What does it mean? In what uh, paragraph? This one, this one, in the second paragraph, it says, but respect to this affirmation, what does it mean then? Oh, let me see. 
It says the author suggests that deforestation is necessary to obtain an abundance of farmlands to raise enough crops in livestock and thus to have enough food production for the increased population. But respect to this affirmation. Ah, <laughs> the right word was about this affirmation. Oh, okay. I got confused. I wanted to say respecto a esta afirmación. Ah, con respeto, con respecto a esta. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I confused the word. It's about about this yes because we are thinking in spanish right but in yeah, regards right. but in regards in but in regards to this affirmation affirmation right double f farming also you see rainforests have rainforest is plural right so this one is have right and so on right rising Continues rising, continues to rise. Yes, continues to rise. And a lot of different, most of your mistakes, Sergio, were uh, just um, misspells or words that were misspelled, population. It's true that population continues rising. It's, that's one, that one is okay. Have been enormous, no, enormous, right? Enormous. For human beings, beings, right? Beings with S, human beings. Additionally, double D. In conclusion, one S. The what could in business? Uh -huh. What could in business? Yeah, it's okay. The what, what could in business is okay. Business, business, double S at the end, not at the beginning. Neither for this is neither, right? Nor neither, right? Mm -hmm. Neither. For human beings. For human beings. So actually, it's, there are some mistakes, actually. But it's just because we think in Spanish. And we think in... We try to transfer that thinking into English. But we are... Uh, we need to practice a little bit more vocabulary and also uh, the spelling, right, of the words, right? Pay attention how we write the words. Um, but I think it was a good essay. It was a good essay. We are going to check the last one because we also finished with the class. Vamos a el último. This one is for Marielos. Let's see. Marielos send it today. Very good. Let's see. Okay, this one is not that long. It's a short, short. <laughs> it's short, right? It's short. <laughs> the conclusion is laughing. <laughs> Okay, it says here, uh, according to, um, we have two additional writing sentences. It says, wordy sentences. So you have many words, you use many words to write one sentence. It's better to use like simple sentences, like too many words to say something, right? Remember that in this case, we are writing, we are not speaking, right? So it's kind of different. And punctuation in compound complex sentences. So this will be one of the issues here. Let's see. Let's see this one. The article explains the topic of deforestation, which is the cutting, which it is, right? It is the cutting down of trees in a large area of the land which it is, um, hmm. the writer tells some advantages of the deforestation, the reading text disagrees. The author says that deforestation brings consequences and he expresses idea in opposition to the author. The writer mentions some advantages of the issue. He says that deforestation for provides large areas of farmland and raises livestock. Farmers can get food and other items to offer to people. Furthermore, due to the population increase, cutting down 
forests give a solution to housing needs. The author also speaks about the economic uh, benefits of deforestation. People can use wood to make paper, furniture, and construction uses help to get a job for many people. Con contrastingly, the reading talks about the disadvantages of deforestation. It disapproves of clearing forests as a practice to have economic benefits. And he says there is only one ecosystem. It is, it is in danger of disappearing because deforestation. Large areas of rainforests are cleared to get farmland. Some alternatives, the reading about the economic benefits for people. The author says there are benefits. I think it's okay because you had the idea, right? You had the idea and that was okay. Yeah, that was that was good. That was good to have the idea. But yes, I think that sometimes we try to say a lot and we try to use complicated words. And for you is you have to be comfortable with your writing, right? You have to be comfortable about what you write. You, you have to say this is this is good, this is clear, this is okay, right? This is okay. So we're going farther more. Yes, intricate text, punctuation in compound complex sentences. Yes, it seems that large areas. Yes, but let me see if we can find more mistakes here. Just let me open another window just to verify your, your essay, right? Let's see here. Uh, do you have any questions right now? Any comments for tomorrow's essay? Preguntas? No, teacher. <laughs> it's too so, it's so no. much content about that. It's too much, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't have, you have to, to study worry. too much. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about that because it's just it's normal, right? It's normal to to check it, right? Let's see. Can I have a question? Yes, go ahead. What will happen if we if I, for example, at uh, the third model of TOEFL? And didn't pass the test. Good question. Uh, actually, uh, what will happen if you are in the third module and you don't pass the test? Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, it depends, right? Because it depends on you. It depends on how you feel. These are some examples, right? The examples of how, what you are going to experience, what you are going to see in the TOEFL test. But I cannot tell you, you are going to take this course or these three modules and you are, not, you are going to pass it, right? It mm -hmm. depends on you, that is personal. For example, some people might say, I, have, I need to practice more in all of the areas, right? Reading, speaking, writing. And some other people might say, I, I just need only listening, more listening because that's the other ones are okay with, with me, right? So it depends on you. It depends on I how you feel. Know, teacher. Yes. But but what happens with the with the uh, the how it's called the beca the scholarship uh -huh. oh, are we uh, the scholarship or for example do I have many opportunities or just one for the TOEFL test yes mm, I don't know I will ask about that uh, I, let me write your question if you have many. I don't know if you are going to, they are going to give you just one chance or many chances, like two or three chances, right? Okay. Like how many chances you will have. But what you have to do is just to prepare, right? And once you feel ready, you can take the test. And if you don't feel ready, you just need to prepare a little bit more and get more, more suggestions. That's it. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, exactly. That's personal, right? Because everybody works in a different way. Probably... Um, Miguel or Sirhan, they will, they will, they will pass the test only with the the modules, right? Probably or probably, uh, Sergio will study a lot and 
and he will say, oh, teacher, I studied, I studied a lot and I didn't pass the test. What happened, right? I follow all your recommendations, right? So it's different for, for everyone. It's different. So we cannot okay. tell, right? Okay. Yes, because I am still afraid. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand. But that's, that's why you have to uh, practice. Just practice. I understand because sometimes I, I was in the same situation and I took different tests and I didn't feel ready. Even when I graduated from university, I was a teacher. I had my my diploma. I have took classes. I have taken a lot of exams, a lot of exams, like listening, speaking, reading. I have read a lot of books in English. And even after that, I was not able to understand very well the the native speakers I, I didn't understand okay. them and i was like what happened if i graduated already why i'm not able to understand very well right why okay. and what i need to do is just to to listen more english right so what happened i went to a call center right uh, i was younger and i went to a call center and then i my ears open right imagine like okay. working eight hours and like, hello, how are you? Hello, I need yeah. this and it does and it does. So I needed to understand or I was going to get fired, right? So in that moment, uh, speaking every day with natives or native speakers, that opened my ears and I was able to understand them. And since then, I understand a lot better. <laughs> that means that I have... I have to be under by pressure to understand better. Not, pre not pressure because the pressure was mine because I needed the money, but yeah. I was able to speak and understand. But in that, in, in the first moment that I started listening like native speakers, like what are they saying? Or it was really difficult because it was mm -hmm. a real English, right? Real life English. Yeah. And, 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 and you don't have to put yourself under pressure, but you have to commit yourself, right? What is your goal? You need to set okay. a goal and you need to say, I'm going to learn how to listen. I'm going to learn how to write. And you start practicing and practicing and practicing. In yes, my case, I think it, yes, uh -huh. go ahead. Uh, no, no, go ahead, please. Yeah, in my case, it was not, I'm going to practice. In my case was, I'm going to work, right? <laughs> I have to work and I'm, I'm practicing at the same time. So that was my okay. case. Yeah. Well, I think for me, it's, it's more easy to to understand listening but mm -hmm. it's difficult for me the writing for example uh, mm -hmm. the things that we are doing now mm -hmm. uh, the words the connecting words the punctuation and something like that is is more difficult to me yes exactly because they don't teach us that in english classes right yeah. like for example Oh, we are going to have a composition class or pronunciation class specifically, right? We don't yes. have that. We don't, no, we don't, we don't see like or orthographia y redacción. Exactly. We, we don't see that. We don't see phonemes, right? Or, mm -hmm. or rules, right? Because even when I was at the university, I, 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 had, I took that class in composition class and I didn't learn anything because I didn't know that I have to rewrite the the paragraph the essays mm -hmm. they gave us essay they, they say you can write an essay write an essay and they just check my my mistakes but i didn't mm -hmm. know that i have to rewrite the essay so i learned in the last in the last year of my career i, I learned how to write in in my thesis in my the last job in the last mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. that's where i learned <laughs> so i have to learn everything again in practice yeah. because it was a, a book right that i was writing a book in english Mm -hmm. So it's it's different for us. It's, you're right, but we have different tools nowadays. We have internet, we have online classes. Some of them are free. So it depends on your time and your will. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I know it it's is. difficult. I know it's, yes. I understand it because I've been there. I've been there and it's, it's stressful sometimes, but it depends on you. I would try. Yes, no worries. No, I don't will give try up. to do my best. Exactly. That's what you have to say, Irene, and all of you, right? Try to do your best. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to give some indications, some... Um... Teacher? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, does the scholarship include 
include a uh, TOEFL test? I will ask that because I, I don't have a lot of information about if it includes it or if you have to pay or you don't have to pay, right? And also the chances. So okay. I'm going to... I'm going to ask all of those questions today and I will have uh, I will have the answer for tomorrow, right? Just in case. Yes, because if you want to take the test, you can take it, right? If you don't pay, right? It's an experience for you. Yes, so for, it's good. Yes, it's good. It's <laughs> a good experience. You don't have to be afraid of that. So you just need to prepare. So uh, for the last class, we are going to check question number two, right? Independent writing. I just, I already gave you the question, right? Ya les di la pregunta. So you just need to to practice like this one. Not was this one, I guess. This is question one. This is question two. So the question is about health and wellness. Some of you already did it, so I'm going to check it tonight. It says uh, health and wellness is a growing concern for a number of people across the globe. Some people believe a well-balanced diet and exercise routine is the best way to stay healthy. Others suggest that good health has less to do with what you eat and more to do with how you live. In other words, maintaining positive relationships with friends and family is a better way to remain healthy. Which opinion do you agree with? So which one is um, more important for you or which one do you agree with? Like to stay healthy, with a well-balanced diet, diet and exercise, or uh, just to to have a good health and has less to do with what you eat and more to the, how you live, right? With your friends, with your family. What is your opinion on that, right? So that's uh, the essay for tomorrow. And I have here some suggestions, right? Let's see, we are going to finish with these suggestions, right? So first, you need to write about if you agree or if you disagree. A personal preferences or uh, sometimes they will ask you to choose one of three choices, right? So it depends on the passage type. So this is the last task in the last section of the test. You will want to hurry up and go home, take a deep breath, relax and keep your composure. So this is how you can manage your time during the test, right? The minutes and how you can write the paragraphs. It says the independent writing task will ask you for general information. You will have to use explanations, examples, and anecdotes to expand your opinion. So what I want to uh, read is why do you agree with this, right? For example, if I exercise, I agree with exercise oh, because my mother lost weight or I lost weight, or I have seen different people who lost weight with exercises and diet, right? So you need to explain one reason and give another reason, right? This will be for the TOEFL, but for um, for our, our example, we, I just need one, one paragraph, like introduction, one paragraph, like body paragraph and conclusion. This is the notes, right? Este es como el borrador. This is re really good because this is how you organize your ideas, right? And these parts in yellows, these are examples, right? In my opinion, my mother, right? Different things. This is the example for essay two, right? It's good to have a template because they give you information. Like for example, these are uh, examples how to start your essay. There is no shortage of opinion. No one can deny that. These are suggestions. Sometimes they will be useful, sometimes they won't, right? So it depends on what you want to say. This is this, the body paragraph, the structure. This is an example. You can check it in the, in the presentation. You already have it there. Let's see what else we have here. And also provide example, right? Examples, personal examples. My personal experience is a great example of this. So I need to hear why you, you agree with this or why not. That's why you need to, it's kind of complicated because in the first essay, you had all the information already. In this one, you don't have information. You need to create your own information, all of it. So it has to be your own ideas. This is just a template for question two. Templates are good because we can use these, uh, these words, right? As a result for this reason, secondly, 
be careful with how you write your sentences also, right? And let's see, rewind the reader of your description. Reason. Uh, this is just the conclusion structure, right? Restate your stance, remind the reader of your two supporting reasons and provide a final suggestion, una sugerencia final, ¿verdad? De lo que concluyeron. This is an example, right? You can read it later if you want to. So that's what I want to do for the in independent paragraph. I just need one body paragraph, the introduction, one body paragraph and the conclusion. That's it. The more time you have to edit, the higher your score. Try to edit your uh, essay, right? And that says, these are the TOEFL writing tips that I had for you before, right? Try to use simple past or simple present. In this case, you can use the simple present, simple present if you want to. You can use a template if you want to, right? These are the templates that you can see here and the objections, right? This is the template for the question number two. And it says, do not blindly follow a template. No sigan esto, esto solo es una guía, verdad? This is just a guide. Don't blindly follow a template. Scoring well in the TOEFL writing will not be based on your template, but your, on your own abilities. The best way to use templates for TOEFL, uh, this is a, a document that I will send you tomorrow for you to uh, check different examples for essays. So in this case, these are introductory sentences, the ones that I mentioned before. This is just for the introduction. Sometimes they can fit, sometimes not, right? And these are awkward sentences. Cuando escribimos bastantes palabras o, o muchas palabras a veces son raras. Por ejemplo, there is no shortage of opinion. What is the best new hobby to learn? So what is this, right? What is it trying to say? Recently, there has been a ton of debate as to whether it is best to play an instrument or a sport. So a debate, uh, I don't think that it was a debate to, to play an instrument or a sport. It has never been like a debate about that, right? So choose your words carefully. Stop uh, or try to avoid awkward sentences or sentences with a lot of words. So these are just, these are just some suggestions about that, right? And this is the integrated essay example. Let's see. I don't know if you have, I guess that we are going to stop right now because these are just suggestions that you can read over there. This is one important tip. You want to feel natural when you write, build a template that you uh, that will help you feel comfortable and confident on test day. Ustedes pueden crear sus propios templates, okay? You can create your own templates if you want to, okay? So choose sentences that will be useful for you. And try to use synonyms, right? Because if you say, um, in my opinion, my opinion is a uh, people's opinion, it, it seems that you don't have a lot of vocabulary. For example, opinion, right? In my opinion, I do believe that it is certainly clear to see why I feel that if I were asked, I will say that or personally. So try to use synonyms, right? To disagree, right? right? I cast out on or I oppose or I contest. For example, right, if I want to say, for example, for example, for instance, is another word, right? As an illustration, such as one example of this, right? So you can use different words, right? Try to use synonyms, expand your vocabulary. Try to use more words, but that will be just for the exam, right? They ask you for 300 words in the test, in the TOEFL test, try to write a little bit more, like 350. And it says, do not just stop words in your essay, focus on writing a clear, concise, and well-developed essay. Be sure to leave yourself plenty of time to edit. Consider these goals most important. So this is maximize your editing time. At the end of writing essay, try to edit your time, organize your time, check your writing. As we can see today, we have a lot of misspelling words and use technology, right? Grammarly.com, it's a one, you can use different uh, applications, right? Or or uh, websites like this, that they can help you to check your, your grammar, right? 
and resist the urge to leave, right? This will be the last test. If you take the test, this will be the last, the last task, right? The writing. So be careful, breathe, and try to finish it. Um, for tomorrow, do you have any suggestion for the last class for tomorrow? Or any doubt or any question for tomorrow? Something that you would like to do in uh, besides checking your essays? Any suggestion for tomorrow's class? Not the chair. No. Not the chair. Okay, everything's okay. Everything's correct. Okay, so I will try to. I will try <laughs> to. Ask. For, it, everything is good except everything for all the stairs. Everything is. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> but we are lost, right? Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> no, but you have to. Just, these, are, these are just some some tips, right? Some advice. Everything is clear, or everything is black, teacher. Everything is is dark <laughs> as the night, right? Okay, yes, but uh, try to use this tomorrow. We are going to have the last class tomorrow celebration, right? Because we finish. Congratulations! Uh, tomorrow will be the last one, and try to send your essays, right? Try to send your essays for tomorrow for the independent, right? For the independent. And you can tell me uh, your ideas. Why you what, why did you decide to write it in that way? What do you think it was a good idea? Probably you can explain to me more about that. I just wanted to finish with these tips. And tomorrow I will I will explain to you the the the, the material that I will send it to you, that I will send to you. So you can you can keep on practicing, okay? Please, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, do you have any other question right now? No, teacher, just thanks for all the information that you give us because it's very important for us. I understand. To have many tips. Yes, yes ho teacher. Yeah, hopefully you try. You try, try. <laughs> try <laughs> yes, try at least. Try. Right. Very Please good. don't let us down. Don't let us fall, teacher. No, no, <laughs> never, never. <laughs> okay, we are going to see you tomorrow and try to write your essays and have a nice night and I will see you in the last class, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good, have good a night. Nice night. Thank you. Okay, good tomorrow. Night.